What's up champs? Welcome to today's video. I'm super excited about it. It's going to be a little bit different than normal, but I'm, my name is Trevin Peterson. If you guys don't know me, um, I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon seller, and that was that's what this channel is about. So if you guys are interested in selling, creating an online business, then this is a perfect channel for you. Um, I'd recommend subscribing so that you guys learn the steps and the proper steps to successfully start an Amazon business. So what I want to do in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different like I was saying, um, is, is kind of give you guys a message and, and this is something that I've been thinking about a lot lately and this morning I was getting some work done. Um, right here you guys can see my setup. Right there, got my computer, laptop, desk, there's my backdrop as you guys can see in my videos and then my wall, couch, love this. So. The reason why I share that with you, kind of showing you guys my office setup, I sit right there and I get to look at this wall every single day and this is kind of what sparked um, the idea of the video and also this morning answering some emails and some questions on the Facebook group, on Instagram. I, I get them every single day. They're like the same questions and people always ask just okay, how much, does it get, how much does it take to get started? What what do I need to do? Or what, what happens if I fail? Or what happens if this? What happens if this? They, they're, they're looking for an answer to help them get started. Now, I, I can't give you guys just this magical potion to make you just be like, oh, I'm going to get started and I'm motivated to just do whatever it takes to be successful. I, I can't do that for you. But what I want to do in this video is kind of break down this picture right here. Um, I'm, I'm almost running out of breath. This is like the first time I've done this kind of style and it's it's actually like hard. Um, but what I want to do is break down and, and let you guys know whether or not entrepreneurship, Amazon, any business, affiliate marketing, YouTube, drop shipping, sh Shopify, or, or whatever the case is, I'm going to let you guys know and, and just see if it's, if, if, if it's a good fit for you. Okay, so entrepreneurship is not easy. You have to be motivated and you have to be willing to sacrifice. So let me show you guys this picture. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says success nutrition facts. And right there it says serving size, 24 hours a day, serving size, servings per container, 365 days a year. So I wanna talk about those two things real quick. So serving size, 24 hours a day. So when I look at this, you have to be willing to put in the hours, put in the work, hustle 24 hours a day, and you have to sacrifice some time. That's just the reality with Amazon. It's not going to, you're not just going to start and in a couple of days you're going to have a thriving, successful business. That's just not how business works. I know a lot of people want that to be the case. They want the easy way. They just want to make the most money as quick as possible. And that's the questions that I get asked every single day. All they want is the easy way. There's no such thing as an easy way in entrepreneurship. I don't care what business model you're doing, what job you have, what company you're starting, there's no such thing as an easy way up to the top. Okay, so you guys need to understand that. And the 24 hours uh, a day right here, 24 hours a day, um, I, I kind of think about that and relate it to Amazon as you have to be willing to almost work 24 hours a day because the Amazon, the suppliers overseas, they have a different time schedule. This is something that people don't talk about, but you have to communicate with them into the night. So most nights, um, when I'm trying to launch a new product, if I'm relaunching or reordering products, I'm up in the middle of the night, back and forth with my supplier, getting things done, and I don't go to bed till three, four o'clock in the morning. So I have to sacrifice and be willing to sacrifice, not complain and be like, oh, I can't do it anymore. You just have to be willing to do it. If you want to succeed, then you have to be willing to put in that effort and you have to expect that. You can't just expect it to come easy. So that's the first thing. 24 hours a day, you have to be willing to hustle 24 hours a day um, into the night to communicate with the suppliers. That's the one con with Amazon is you're going to have to stay up. But once you do get it up and going, then you don't have to go to bed every night at four. It's just a few nights that you have to sacrifice. The next thing, 365 days a year, the serving size per container. This is just kind of something that I think is awesome. It doesn't really relate to the video, but 
when you sell on Amazon, you can sell 365 days a year. You don't just make money five days a week. You, you make money on the holidays. You make money on Saturday, Sunday. You can sell literally every single day, and that's what's amazing. doesn't matter where you're at. So I really like that about Amazon. 365 days a year, you can be making money. So now let's talk about the percentages of the different uh, amounts per serving. Okay, so the first one is hustle. As you guys can see, 100% right there. I'm going to go over each of these um, kind of attributes, things that you guys need to do in order to succeed in entrepreneurship and mainly Amazon, okay? So this relates to any business model, but hustle, 100%, I really like that. Um, I just kind of like this picture in general. It really motivates me, and I, I really like looking at it, but hustle 100%, you need to, like I was saying, 24 hours a day, you need to hustle. A lot of people ask me, okay, what did it take for you to succeed? What's special about you? And and the thing that I say, there's nothing special about me. I don't have any special degree. I, I'm not some genius, marketing genius, but there is one thing that I have, and that is hustle. And if I put my mind up to something, I'm going to go get it done. It doesn't matter what's in my way. There's going to be obstacles in any business whether it's Amazon or business that you start, it doesn't matter. There's going to be obstacles and you're going to have to be willing to hustle and get around those obstacles uh, through the ups and the downs. Okay, so hustle 100%. If you can't do that, then entrepreneurship and Amazon FBA is probably not for you. The second thing is focus. You need to focus 100%. Treat this as if it was your baby. You need to treat it like a business. If you don't treat it like that, then it's going to be very, very difficult to succeed in, in entrepreneurship. Okay, so focus on your end goal, set goals, and focus on that. Okay, stop focusing on other people, stop comparing yourselves. That's that's what a lot of people do is they ask me, oh, if I have this much money, can I be like you? Don't worry about me. Worry about you and go do you and set your own goals, set realistic goals. A lot of people come up to me and they're like, I want to make $25,000 a month. And it, I'm like, Dude, I, I'm I'm I, I'm very close to that, but my first goal was like, okay, I just want to make a thousand dollars. Set realistic goals and then slowly increase every single month, every single year, or whatever the case is. You need to set realistic goals and focus on those and stop focusing on other people's results. So hustle and focus. Persistence. You need to be persistent. I mean that's just kind of self-explanatory, hundred percent. Discipline, this is something, there's kind of two uh, things that could go off of discipline. The first is a lot of people ask, or I would say, a lot of people don't have enough money to start a business. So you need to be disciplined to save the money that you earn. You need to be disciplined to maybe go get a second job. Maybe you aren't working. You need to be disciplined to go get a job. And when you do start making money, be disciplined to save that money. Okay, so that's very, very crucial. You need to be disciplined in that. And then once you do get started, you need to be disciplined to learning, taking every step. You can't be taking shortcuts. You need to do every step of the way and you need to be disciplined to do that. Okay, so that is the number four thing. I'm, I'm literally running out of breath, guys, so bear with me. It's right here, failure. Failure, 100%. A lot of people, they always ask me, and they're always worried, I'm, I'm going to fail, I don't want to fail. And I'm like, you do want to fail. That, that's my response, you do want to fail. If you don't fail, it's, it's kind of hard to succeed. And that's just the reality is, if you think that you're going to start a business, if you think that you're going to start selling on Amazon, and you're going to launch 10 just successful products, you have a misconception. You're going to fail whether it's one, whether it's two, whether it's nine. But eventually, from those failures, you're going to pick yourself up and you're going to learn from them. Okay, so that's what you need to understand is failure is just part of the process. No one got to where they're at where they're at without failing. I mean, I talk about tons of products that I've failed. I had my first three products I failed. I've I've failed multiple other ones. I'm not perfect, I fail, but as soon as I fail, I pick myself back up and I don't get down on myself. Okay, so that's what one, one, two, three, four, five. So that's fifth thing. Second thing, I guess the sixth thing, is risks goes along with that. You need to be willing to take the risk, take the chance in yourself, be confident in yourself that, look, 
whether I invest a thousand, two thousand dollars, the risk, the risk versus the reward. A lot of people are like, oh, but a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars is is so much money. And and I don't want to say that it's not because it is. But the fact is, twenty years, twenty five years down the road, you're going to look back on two thousand, a thousand dollars, or five hundred bucks, and you're going to think, man, if I would have just started, if I would have just took the risk of that thousand dollars. It's not going to affect your retirement. If I would have just taken that risk, taken that chance, I wonder where I would have been right now. I don't want you to have those regrets. I don't want you down the road to think, man, I wish I would have. I, I, I should have done this. I don't want you to have that. But again, if you aren't willing to take the risks, then entrepreneurship, Amazon FBA is not for you. This, the last thing, which is one of the most important, is patience. Okay, so... Patience is just kind of the brutal truth with entrepreneurship. You're going to have to be patient with yourself, with the business, with your suppliers, with the process, with literally everything, okay? Especially product research. A lot of people, a lot of my students, a lot of people that reach out to me, a lot of people on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, they, they get going and they do product research for, let's say, a day or two days or even a week. And they, they find all these different products and then they come to realize that they may not have as much potential or they're not the best products and then they kind of get discouraged and they think, oh man, I can't do this. I just found 10 potential products and Trevin or maybe um, the Chrome extension or, or the different criteria that I'm looking at, it, it may not meet their requirements and, and then they get down on themselves. But you need to understand that you need to be patient with yourself. My response to that is if you're discouraged on getting started or if it's taking too long or if you haven't found a product, you need to understand that if your current job, if you work, if you're in a current job, how much time, how much energy would it take for you to get a $1, $2, $3 raise or five, six, ten thousand $10,000 raise per year? It may take you a couple years, a couple months, and that's Amazon. It's going to take you a month or so to get things up and going, a couple months, but after six months, eight months of you putting in the time and the effort, you're going to reap the benefits, and you're not just going to get that little $1,000 raise. You're going to get a fifty, sixty, hundred thousand dollars $100,000 profit per year raise. So that's the way you need to think. You're in this for the long term. If you're in this just to make just a bunch of money real quick. It's not for you. There's no such thing. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to offend you, but that's just kind of the reality of it. So I hope you guys really take those things to heart. You need to get this post if you don't too. Um, I'll include the link in the description. It's iconic, but get that poster, do whatever it takes. And if you aren't willing to do those things that I just mentioned, entrepreneurship, Amazon FBA may not be for you, but if you are, this is the best opportunity in 2019 to start a business and I, I know that you guys can see, succeed with that mindset and I'm super excited for you. If you guys need any help, I'm more than happy to help you in whatever way possible. Facebook group, I have the product research course, I have a full A to Z course, I do coaching calls, I have a bunch of free resources in the link down below, in the description down below. So check those out, take advantage of it, and I want you guys to succeed. So thank you so much. I'm out of breath, so I'm going to end this video. And I'm, let me know what you guys thought about it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if you guys enjoyed, and also don't forget to subscribe, share it with a friend, join the Facebook group, and for now we will see you guys in the next video.